Hello gate aspirants welcome to part 15 of gate nuclear and particle physics series question number 17 consider the induced nuclear fission reaction this reaction is given when where neutron momenta in both initial and final states are negligible the ratio of the kinetic energies of the daughter nuclei are now here for the conservation of linear momentum see this uranium atom will be at rest so its momentum will be zero plus neutron momenta is are zero so this will be again zero that will be equal to momentum of rubidium plus momentum of cesium plus zero because neutron momentum is zero that means in magnitude these two are same now kinetic energy is equal to p square by twice m but p square is same that means it will depend only on mass and it is inversely proportional to mass so kinetic energy of rubidium versus kinetic energy of cesium this will be equal to reciprocal of masses that means it will be mass of cesium upon mass of rubidium and mass of cesium is 141 upon mass of rubidium is 93 so option b is correct 141 upon 93 next question let n e and t e respectively denote the number and kinetic energy of electrons produced in a nuclear beta decay which one of the following distribution is correct so now if you are plotting n e versus kinetic energy so as kinetic energy increases the number decreases so it will the graph will look like this so what it will look like this so option c is correct you can go through any standard book and you will find this graph next question number 26 let p q and r be three different nuclei which one of the following nuclear processes is possible so for any nuclear reaction to be possible uh, charge baryon number and lepton number they has to this p has to cancel so we will check for each so for first this is uh, we will consider lepton numbers first so this will be one electron neutrino it will be one this will be zero again zero because these are not leptons then we have electron so that will be one so here lepton number is conserved here it is positron so minus one so lepton number is not conserved here we have positron and electron so again lepton number is not conserved photon so zero hence lepton number is not conserved so only in first reaction lepton number is conserved so option a is correct this process is allowed next Binding energy and rest mass energy of a two nucleon bound state are denoted by B and M C square respectively. Where C is the speed of light, the minimum energy of photon required to dissociate the bound state is. Now it is a two nucleon bound state, so that means we have two H one, and if photon uh, is going to separate it out, so plus photon that will separate it. That means proton and neutron will be separated. So this is the case. now by conservation of linear momentum we can see if this this is the uh, deuteron so it is at rest so this plus momentum of uh, this photon and momentum of photon will be e gamma by c that will be equal to momentum of this proton plus neutron so this will be by conservation of linear momentum so from here i can write final momentum pf is equal to energy of photon upon c also the energy will be conserved so initial energy will be equal to final energy now initial energy is mass energy of this plus energy of photon so this will be mc square mass energy because it is not moving so we will consider only rest mass energy plus energy of photon and that will be equal to uh, final energy now final energy has both components kinetic energy as well as mass energy so here we will use this formula under root pfc into square plus its mass final mass into c square the whole square and under root of it now we have to substitute all these values here so we have mc square plus e gamma take square on both sides this will be equal to pf final uh, momentum is e gamma by c so this c and c will cancel off so under root e gamma square plus this is final mass so final mass is mass of uh, mass of proton plus mass of neutron 
this will be mp plus mn whole square into c raised to 4. So I have taken square on both sides. So this, this will be the case. Now the answers are in terms of binding energy. So let us calculate binding energy as well. So binding energy is equal to mass of products minus mass of reactants. So mp plus mn minus m into c square. So B is equal to MP plus MN into C square minus MC square. So this MP plus MNC square is equal to B plus MC square. So we will substitute these values in this first equation. Let us take square on both sides. So M square C raised to 4 plus E raised to gamma square plus twice E gamma into MC square is equal to E gamma square plus mp plus mn c square is equal to b plus mc square and then we have to take square of it. So b square plus m square c raised to 4 plus twice b mc square. So this term will cancel, e gamma square will cancel. So we have 2 e gamma into mc square is equal to b square plus 2 b mc square. So e gamma is equal to b square by twice mc square plus b. Take b common. So 1 plus b upon twice m c square. So option b is correct. Next question. Decays of mesons and baryons can be categorized as weak strong and electromagnetic decays depending upon the interactions involved in the process. Which of the following options is or are true? Now if we are considering isospin then if change in isospin, if it is conserved, if it is conserved, that is 0, then that means it is strong interaction. And if it is not conserved, then it is weak or electromagnetic interaction. And if delta I3, if isospin projection is conserved, then in that case it is strong or it can be electromagnetic. And if it is not conserved, then it is weak. And if strangeness number is conserved, then it is strong or electromagnetic. And if it is equal to 0 or plus minus 1, then it will be weak. So these are the laws, approximate laws. And we have to check for each process. Now in the first process, this is pi meson and it is giving out two photons. So these are photons involved here. That means it is not weak, it is electromagnetic decay. That means this is not correct. For option B, let us consider I3. So for uh, lambda 0, I3 is 0. For pi 0, it is 0. And for proton, it is half. So here, delta I3 is not equal to 0. So it cannot be electromagnetic decay. See, if delta I3 is not equal to 0, that means it is weak. So this is also not correct. Now we have to check for C and D. Now for the C process, we have K meson pi plus plus pi minus. Let us consider charge. So total charge is 0, 1, 1. So charge is conserved. Baryon number, it is 0, 0, 0. These are not leptons. So lepton number is also 0. Then I. For this process, K meson half then 1 and 1. That means delta I3, here delta I is not equal to 0. Then iso, isospin projection, so this will be minus half. I3 is calculated like this. I3 is equal to Q minus half into B plus S. So let me write S first. So strangeness number, S is 1, 0, 0. So again, delta is, is also not equal to 0. Now, I3, by using this formula, you can do this. So, I3 will be minus half. Then we have plus 1 and minus 1. So, delta I3 is also not conserved. So, all these case, in all these cases, uh, this number is not conserved. So, that means it is weak. So, C is correct. And for option D, 
we have delta plus plus giving out proton plus pi meson. Now charge it is 2, 1, 1. So charge is conserved. Baryon number it is 1, 1, 0. It is conserved. Then lepton number, these are not leptons, so lepton number is also conserved. S, strangeness number is 0, 0, 0. Then I, isospin is 3 by 2. Then for proton, it is 1 by 2 and 1. So here delta I is 0. So delta I is equal to 0. Then delta I3 also we have to calculate. This will be 1 half half. So I3, delta I3 is also conserved. And strength the number is also conserved. So that means this is strong decay. So option C and option D are correct. Next question. According to the nuclear shell model, the absolute value of difference in magnetic moments of 1508 and 157n in the units of nuclear magneton mu n is A by 3. The magnitude of A is. Now to find out uh, magnetic moments if it is even even nuclear then in that case j is equal to 0 so m is also equal to magnetic moment is 0 if it is even odd nuclear and if we have unpaired proton then if j is equal to l plus half then mu is equal to J plus 2.29275 mu n and if J is equal to L minus half then mu is equal to J upon J plus 1 in bracket J minus 1.29275 mu n and if we have unpaired neutron And if j is equal to L plus half, then mu is equal to minus 1.9135 mu n. And if j is equal to L minus half, then mu is equal to j upon j plus 1, 1.9135 mu n. So these are the formulas. Now we have to calculate for this. First we have 1508. That means z is equal to 8 and n is equal to 7. And we have 1 has 1 high 2, 1p 3 by 2, 1p 1 by 2. So 7. So 2, 4 and 1. So j is equal to half. So here we have j is equal to half. And it is L. L is 1. P, is, uh, P means L is equal to 1. And it is 1 minus half. So that is L minus half. So we have to use formula for L minus half. So here mu is equal to. So this formula we have to use. Sorry. We have to use for neutron. So we have unpaired neutron. So this formula we will use. So mu is equal to j upon j plus 1 into 1.9135 mu n. And j is half. So half upon half plus 1. So that is 1 by 3 into 1.9135 mu. So this is for first case. Now let us calculate for second one. 15 and 7. So z is equal to 7 and n is equal to 8. Again we have 1s 1 by 2, 1p 3 by 2, 1p 1 by 2. So 2, 4, 1. Last one is this. So j is equal to 1 by 2 which is equal to L minus half. So we have to use this formula now. So mu is equal to j upon j plus 1. j upon j plus 1 in bracket j minus 1.29275 mu n. Now j is half, half upon half. So this will be 1 by 3. And this is 1 by 2 minus this thing. So this comes out to be 0 0.79275 upon 3 into mu n. And change between these two. So this let it be mu 1 and this is mu 2. So difference between them. So that is mu 1 minus mu 2. 
and it comes out to be subtract this 1.9135 minus minus it will become plus and this comes out to be 2.70625 upon 3 into mu n. So you can round it off to 3 and answer given to this question was 2 to 3. So you can round it off to 2 or 3. So these were all the questions from gate 2024 paper. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Keep learning.